The drama between Sohi, Junyol, and Hyeri has finally come to an end after the couple announced that they have split up only two weeks after going public with their relationship. But the reason for ending the relationship is actually really messed up. Han Sohi, Hyeri, and Ryu Junyol have cooked up quite the drama in the past few weeks. But everything only got messier when Sohi wrote yet another post addressing the rumors of her relationship and even asking Hyeri to speak up about it. On March 29th, she posted a message on her Instagram saying that the speculations and the rumors have really started to tire her out. She clarified that she met Junyol for the first time at a photo exhibit in November 2023, refuting the rumors that the two had known each other before that. So he went on to clarify that she didn't meet him privately or publicly prior to the photo exhibit and said that despite the rumors, they didn't have any overlapping acquaintances. She said she never meant to disrespect Junyol's past relationship with Hieri when she approached him, but was firm on her statements about the couple breaking up last year. So he said, it's absolutely true that they bid farewell to each other for the last time while wishing the other person good health and happiness, saying that she's revealing this as to prove that Junyol didn't start dating her immediately after breaking up with Hyeri. While she didn't reveal why Junyol wanted to meet Hyeri in November, she insisted it wasn't to rekindle their relationship, as Hyeri claimed. In a very bold and shocking move, so he also asked Hyeri to respond to her statement if anything is false and requested for her to get in contact with her, revealing that she had tried to reach out to Hyeri, but none of her attempts had been successful. So he then directed her frustration towards Junyol, expressing her concern about his silence in the matter, as she was worried that his silence might imply she was deceived by his lies and that he left Hyeri for her. She clarified that her statement was solely based on facts and the statements from their respective agencies, not her emotions. Additionally, so he spoke about how the whole situation had affected those around her, including her fans, the CEO of her agency and the staff. She asked the public to only attack and criticize her when they have facts since everyone went wild just because of the rumors. Her family was slandered, her upbringing came to attention, and her appearance was mocked, even though these things aren't related whatsoever to the issue at hand. And since Sohi couldn't contact Hieri, she wasn't sure if she had seen her apology, but she apologized to Hieri's fans too. So he then continued by expressing her confusion about the situation. She wondered why it was so funny to Harry that her ex-boyfriend was in a new relationship and moving on with life. She also questioned why Harry twisted the meaning of Junyol's text that wasn't about reuniting, making it seem like she was hurt by Junyol's new relationship months later, but then stayed quiet about it. She clarified she wasn't seeking pity or an apology, despite facing hate comments. She just wanted to understand the situation. Then, so he explained expressed her confusion about why people seemed to hate her. She mentioned being criticized for wearing a friendship ring and for how she smiled or didn't smile at reporters at the airport, as if she had no choice but to receive hate. She simply wanted to understand why people harbored such animosity towards her. She knew that her agency would get hate for this statement because they weren't able to quote unquote control her, and that she would get accused of playing the victim as well as deal with people saying that they're tired of the drama. She noted the inconsistency in what people people expected from her, unsure of their desires. Despite this, she felt compelled to speak out rather than remain silent. Towards the end, so he said, it seems people want me to explain some parts and want me to stay silent on others. I am not sure what people want from me. I am writing this because I don't think I should respond with silence. The post was deleted shortly after it was posted and so he apologized once again, saying that she was acting rash, but this was what netizens needed to start another wave of discussions about what happened. Mostly, it seems like people were criticizing her for mentioning Hieri multiple times in her statement, saying that she should have pointed her fingers at Junyol instead. After all, Hieri had explained things from her perspective while Junyol hadn't addressed the situation whatsoever. Netizens comment things like, you're really doing all this over a guy you've been dating for four months? And Hie Ri's message was for Ryu Junyol, not you. Why are you the one jumping up and down like this? Another one guessed that Junyol probably misled both women, and that's the reason he's staying quiet. If he were to clarify when he and Hieri broke up, his claims would be possibly refuted by Hieri, so he would be in hot waters once again for leading the two women on. But this was just speculation. However, even if so, he intended to clarify herself through her post and set things straight, 
straight, it actually did the opposite as her fans started attacking Hieri on her Instagram account. The comments on some of her posts blame Hieri for ruining both Sohi and Junyeol's image and reputation, for causing them to get hate and for painting herself as the victim. Some netizens immediately came to Yeri's defense, advising her to sue the commenters for harassing her. One commenter even suggested that this was Sohi's intention all along, to get Yeri more hate. They wrote, I think this is the sole reason Han Sohi posted that so that her fans can flock to Yeri's account to comment hate, like her fans will do anything to defend her it seems like. They were even saying how Dispatch defended her. Amidst all this mess, everyone just kept wondering why Sohi would still stay with Junyeol. After all, he's the reason she was involved in this situation in the first place and hadn't spoken out or backed his girlfriend up at least once. While Sohi was making posts online and scrambling to explain the timeline and defend herself from all the accusations and rumors, Junyeol just sat back and let it happen. Well, it seemed like Sohi also had enough of the situation, as she ended her relationship only a day after she called out Hyeri in her statement. On March 30th, an hour before the news broke, Sohi updated her blog with a picture of Nicole Kidman looking very joyful. This picture has turned into a meme because it was taken as she was leaving her lawyer's office after finishing her divorce, so for Sohi to post this after her breakup was kind of iconic. Then, an hour later, E! Daily released an exclusive report saying that Junyol and Sohi had put an end to their relationship. Junyol's side quickly confirmed the news, as did Sohi's agency. In fact, they put out a statement explaining that the two broke up because they realized that their roles as actors are the most important things to them. According to the agency, the two have promised that they won't let their personal matters affect them anymore. So he also wasted no time shading her ex for not supporting her. A fan posted on her blog saying that they were relieved that she had broken up with Junyol. The fan wrote, by dating an avoidant man who keeps his mouth shut, ultimately your insides will turn black like ashes. You did so well. So he agreed with the fan, accusing Junyol of keeping his mouth shut while Sohi was defending herself against everyone. She also said that her fans are way too precious for her to just stand there and watch. Her annoyance and anger didn't last for long, though. On March 30th, Wikitree published an article claiming that someone from Sohi's agency made a phone call to them to say that she was sorry and was reflecting on her actions. In the words of the agency official, Sohi was allegedly feeling sorry towards Ryu Junyul as she hurt him with her comment. She also apparently didn't expect to have such a storm with her actions actions, promising that she wouldn't act so recklessly in the future. The article was quickly deleted though, leaving many confused. Why would her company publicly say that she felt sorry for hurting him when so he made it clear that she didn't like the way he didn't do anything to defend her? Sure, you can argue that some of her responses were unnecessary, but she probably panicked having so many people attack not only her, but her family and friends as well. Even in the pictures Dispatch released, you can see Sohi stressing as she's looking at her phone while Junyol stands there with his head low. In an exclusive report by Ilgun Sports just a day before the breakup, it was said that Sohi had been very upset at Junyol for not helping her clarify the rumors. The report said that Sohi was taken aback by the accusations that Junyol had left Hyeri for Sohi since she believed that he had put an end to that relationship. It's alleged that after the mess initially started, Sohi's agency had come in contact with Junyol's agency, requesting them to release the exact date that he broke up with Hyeri. However, the agency apparently refused and only released a statement to say that he hadn't left Hyeri to date Sohi. Seeing the circumstances of her relationship, her fans couldn't be happier that it ended. Even though she reacted poorly to some things, you can't exactly blame her for lashing out when people were calling her all sorts of things, digging into her background and insulting her family members. Let's just hope that both her and Hyeri find peace and happiness in the future and mend their relationship with each other.